Now to make it happen, I'm going to need a couple of things. Yeah, <laughs> nearly dropped it. Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. If you watched my previous videos, you know I had those Stratride dimmers. The rotary movement is based on uh, some sort of accelerometer and they weren't very good in terms of consistency of the movement uh, and translating this movement into the output device like light or node red. Now while I did something to fix it, you can watch the video in here how to use them with node red and get the better and consistent brightness increase rates. I recently found out that IKEA actually has another one, slightly bigger and different uh, device. This is also a Zigbee uh, device, but this aims to control a Wi-Fi speaker. Now, Symphonisk, which is the speaker from with collaboration with Sonoff, is available for £99 in UK, and you can get this remote for £15. Now, a £15 remote just to control music seems like a lot, however, you can easily link this uh, with node red. Now if you want to use it as it is, you have to have an IKEA hub which adds another £25 to your spending. However, without uh, the hub, it is possible to link this to CC2531 uh, Zigbee stick and you'll be able to link it with node red. I'm super excited because I managed to set it up with node red to control Spotify on my computer. Let's take a look and I'll show you how it's done. So how does it work? Uh, commands input from this uh, Symphonisk remote are being sent to Node Red via a CC2531 uh, uh, Zigbee stick. And now that obviously is being handled by Node Red and sent back to my computer equipped with Auto Remote. I can send the HTTP post and trigger Auto Remote uh, through Chrome browser and redirecting this to Event Ghost. So obviously I'm going to use Event Ghost. Now initially I wanted to control the default Windows app which is Groove, however it doesn't support uh, shortcuts when the Groove is minimized. So I've uh, decided to do it with Spotify and to actually control the Spotify when it's minimized with shortcuts all I had to do is download a small extension called Toastify. Now this is a very short, it's a very small extension, just load it on your computer and it's gonna reside in the background and it will do two things. It will display a toast if you need a toast, but it will add a global shortcuts to your Spotify so you'll be able to control it. So this is the node red and it's very simple as you can see. We're starting up with the MQTT node in and I'm just using the default topic and the name of the device I've renamed it already, parsing as a JSON. Now if I press the button in here, we'll quickly notice that I received the payload and there's a couple of things where I'm only interested in auction. I've, play, I've clicked it once, so I'm gonna receive play pause. If I click it twice, I'm gonna get skip forward, etc. Now, because what's gonna happen if I start turning up volume, you'll see I'm gonna get flooded with messages. This is because this is a very responsive and quick system and I don't need all of that information on the side, so I put the rate limit. I've set it to two messages per second. You can adjust it to your um, preference. So let's swap this payload and uh, add the debug node here. So we wouldn't get flooded, I delete this and redeploy it. So, when I press this, uh, I'm sending an uh, auto remote reset message. And uh, sending auto remote, if you have a Chrome installed, this is here, this is here in the corner, you will be able to uh, send that to your event ghost. Now, what we have to do, I'm just going to set the command, which is the name Spotify plus the actual action that is uh, triggered by the, uh, the remote. Now, then, I'm using a credential systems to get that global AR desktop uh, key. 
and that's stored as a global variable. And then there is a message uh, URL uh, that I'm completing and sending over to the HTTP post request. And that's pretty much everything. Let's open the event ghost and see what's going on. When I press the message, you will see the auto remote sends the message and this is the message I'm gonna receive in here. This is exactly the same message I'm using to trigger a couple of things. So if you have already plugin auto remote installed, uh, links in the description how to do it. Uh, then all you have to do is just add the plugin keyboard, which is uh, here and then in input devices keyboard. You'll be able to intercept and set uh, keystrokes as well. So I'm sending a keystrokes and the keystrokes are corresponding to the keystrokes from the Toastify. So if you open the Toastify, you will see that I'm using the same uh, heat global hotkeys uh, as in Toastif Toastify to uh, perform play, skip back, volume up and volume down. Now, the only thing uh, that is uh, worth noting, if you open this, uh, I'm uh, also choosing a volume control mode volume mixer. Uh, Spotify on the garden global and uh, I've got increments sent by uh, to 10 uh, so uh, all I have to do is just wait five seconds or turn the volume for five seconds to reach entire um, volume and the, the resolution is quite decent. Obviously, this is not the only use for Symphonisk Remote. You can control different apps if you want. You can set up different set of controls as well. You can use it as a zoom, etc or you can change the use case altogether because essentially this is a button with three different settings and a rotary encoder with rotation left and right which you can map to anything you want. So it's quite possible you could set it up with a light and control hue, saturation and brightness at the same time with a single device. So let me know what would you like to use it and if you think that £15 um, price for it, it's worth it. Uh, if you're interested in any tutorial files, obviously head to the article the article linked in the description of this uh, video and you'll find uh, all the details there. As for now guys, thanks so much for watching. I do not have a posting schedule, so if you want to get the latest news or latest posts and articles, do follow me on social media and you'll get a notification. Obviously you know how YouTube works, so I don't have to teach you that. As for now, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye!